I'm Greg Bradle here with KE Precision Ag and we're going to go over the 750 display and if you look across the top here we have the light bar and then we have an 8 inch color touch screen and going to the back we have the RAM ball mounted here and we have the power button at the top and then brightness of the display and then we have the dimness of the display. Also we only have one GPS receiver so we only have one port here uh, where the FMX has two and we have two communication ports for connecting with guidance, uh, crop application controls and so forth and then we have the power port and we have the USB port for data management and so forth. Also what we have here that comes with the 750 display is the GPS antenna which mounts on the top of the cab of the tractor and we also have the coax cable that connects that with the display and then here is the magnet mount which sticky backs onto fiberglass tops on the tractor cabs and it just sticks right on the antenna and we also have the uh, CD that comes with it and a quick reference guide. We're always going to wire straight to the battery of the tractor so we'll wire straight in with a fuse and that port will come up into the tractor cab and we will plug right in then with our display and uh, we got one connection and then another connection at the display. So here we have the steering systems for the 750 display and you can see across the top this is our light bar and that is the obviously cheapest method of manual guidance and then the next step would be the easy steer system which is right here with the motor that mounts onto the outside of the steering wheel and this is the train compensation module for that and then your more accurate steering system would be the easy pilot system which fits underneath the steering wheel and then this is the train compensation that we use for that and then the best system and what we would recommend for planting type operations would be the autopilot, the integrated steering system. So that's integrated in with the hydraulics of the tractor and this mounts in the tractor cab to give us the train compensation. Also for the 750 display we can add on the Trimble Field IQ system for rate and section control application on planters, spreaders, whatever it may be this here is the master switch box that we use for that and this here is the section switch box that we use for that and this is a requirement on the 750 display that's the only way we can control our sections manually is by using this switch box we cannot do it on the screen like we can on the FMX also on um, for other functions if you want to add you can add yield monitoring on the 750 there is some limitations. Uh, you cannot tie in with the CAN bus interface on combines like the John Deere 6070 series. And you also cannot do road guidance with the 750 display. You would need the FMX for that. And you will not be able to do water management because there is no second GPS receiver for one. Uh, so if you want to do steering and control your tile plow that would not be possible but then also uh, there's not the interface for the tile plow control system. The GPS signals we have available for the 750 are pretty much exactly the same as the FMX display. There's just a series of unlocks we have to unlock to get to the signal that we need. So basically we're going to start out with WAS so every display comes from the factory ready to receive WAS signal and that's a free subscription and then the next step would be the Omnistar XP and then we have the Omnistar G2 which has GLONASS satellites then we have the Omnistar HP and then we have the Trimble RTX system we have the standard and the fast convergence and then we have the Trimble VRS network so this here is the modem that would connect with the Verizon or AT&T data plan that mounts in the tractor cab and that would connect with the internet and get our RTK corrections off of the Trimble VRS network 
which has a virtual re reference station. And this here would be a uh, Wi-Fi antenna we can add to the top of the tractor for a uh, connected farm, let's say, that would connect with this modem as well. And then the last step would be the RTK radio. So we can have a radio base station within 10 miles and we can connect to the base station there for sub-inch accuracy.